Hi, my name is Julie Yu, and I'm a scientist here at the Exploratorium. In this activity, we're going to light an LED with literally five cents. So in order to do this, you need some very simple materials. You need your LED, five pennies, four of which need to be made after 1982, some sandpaper, some mat board or cardboard or paper towel, some absorbent material, and I have a solution here that I've made by adding salt and a little bit of vinegar to water. A basic battery is just two different metals with a salty solution in between. And we're going to use our pennies to supply those two different metals. The reason you need a penny made after 1982 is that those pennies have zinc in the center and are only coated with copper. We're going to use sandpaper to expose the zinc center in these pennies. I'm going to give you a hint. The side with the Lincoln Memorial or the tail side is a lot easier to sand off. So I'm just going to put tail side down and start sanding. And you'll see that without too much effort, the zinc center starts to appear. So we're etching away that copper surface. But we want this whole face to be zinc. So go ahead and sand off the copper coating of your four pennies that were made after 1982. I'm going to get busy sanding. And you can see with enough sanding that I now have four pennies where one side is all exposed zinc and the other side is still copper. Remember, we need two different metals. We have copper and zinc and a salt solution in between. I'm going to take some mat board squares and I'm going to soak them in my salty solution. So when I go to make my battery, I need to assemble several layers of these cells. I'm going to start out with a penny with my zinc side up. I'll take one of my mat boards dry it off a little, and place it on top. And then the copper side of my next sanded penny right on top. So I have zinc, mat board, copper. Now I have another zinc surface. So I'm going to build my battery by making a series of these cells. So zinc, mat board, copper side down, zinc side up. And then I'm going to keep going until I've stacked all four of my sanded pennies with my last map board right on top. That fifth penny that I didn't sand has copper on both sides. So I have zinc, map board, and I'm going to put the copper right on top. So with this battery, I'm going to power my LED. LEDs have legs that are two different lengths, and this is important because they only work in one direction. I'm going to take the slightly longer leg and I'm going to make sure that that side goes to my intact penny. So I have my stack of pennies. That's my battery. Long leg. And you can see that my LED lights up when I have the long terminal to the intact penny and the short terminal to the bottom. If you want, you can take a piece of electrical tape and wrap this together. And that way, that will hold your penny battery intact so that you can use it as a little mini flashlight to go through the darkness. The electrical tape also prevents some evaporation from happening, so the LED should stay lit well over a day. You'll notice that I used a red LED with this battery because red LEDs require the least voltage. Different colors of light are made of different wavelengths, and different wavelengths require different energies in order to light them. So the red LED takes the least, if I want a different color like blue, I actually need a greater voltage. Over here, I have a battery that I've made with six different cells. So six sanded pennies and one intact penny on top. I'm using it to light a blue LED because a blue LED needs over three volts in order to light. This light will stay lit for over a day as long as you can prevent the salt solution from evaporating. So with just some small change and some salt water, you can make a battery to light whatever color LED you want.